Hello friends, coming at you today with a tutorial on setting up a great lead capture page that can grow your list for you, pre-qualify buyers and lead to more sales at the end of the day. Now at the moment, um, uh, for this client, we've been running um, some ads to her summit um, when that was live. So that was uh, a, a great list builder and sales converter for her. But this is in between um, in between summit uh, registrations and promotions. So we just want something that keeps going, make sure her, uh, that her awareness is out there, that she's building the list in time for the next summit. So we did the summit before we got... Um, Oh, even over, hang on, even more than that, say, um, lifetime. For the summit, when we did these summit ads, we got 1,237 registrations for on an average cost of $1.48, which is a great way to be building your list um, during that live period. But given that that's not running yet, but we're in the lead up, we've been running list building ads here um, to an opt-in that's been getting, so far it's got 95 for a dollar 70. So that they're, they're pretty, um, cost effective list builders. She's got a, um, her overall summit was for personal development, um, journey through the chakras. So one of her other opt-ins she's got is this is sleep journey, um, guided meditation, uh, that she takes them on. So we've been running that and I'll show you what that looks like. So we've got that running and that's all well and good. We've narrowed it down to the image that works best. Um, and that's just humming along. Um, and I wanted to show you, we're about to set up another one with what she already has. So I've just had to kind of rework her landing page just to ensure that we really lead with the promise, um, that it talks to a specific problem. It relates to the audience that you want to target and it connects with them and is um, likely to inspire them to, um, to take action. As you can see here, uh, even let me just uh, go to the actual what that post looks like. Um, we're seeing like a lot of likes and comments and shares, more even just likes and shares on this one, which will really greatly reduce your cost. So if you've got something for a freebie, it's great if it's super, super shareable, okay? So we haven't even written a lot of copy here. We haven't done one of those long form copy ads. We just got straight to the point talking about, um, you know, those who are struggling with um, having a good night's rest, getting to sleep. They're going to be more um, open to personal development solutions. We've gone quite um, targeted to people who would be likely to be her, um, her best summit registrants as well. And then we can see here, we've got 45, interactions here in 13 shares. That's why that ad is so cheap. So it's just a quick and easy download. And you can see how simple the page is here. It's very, very simple. Uh, this one was actually done in Kajabi because her things are in there. Um, nightly grat gratitude journey for a good night's sleep, right? Super simple. That's all it is. Enter your name and email and away you go. You can then start going deeper with them in your follow-up email sequences. And then we know those people are on the list to go back to for summits or um, any other conversion events you may be having. So we wanna get some more, um, test some more um, opportunities for messaging. The good thing about these list builders, they're really easy to create and um, they're great research tools for you to understand um, what uh, messages are you, your um, overall target audience would, uh, into, uh, you know, respond best to. So um, Lauren's also got a cool um, little uh, free, like a guide about releasing emotional physical pain in the body. Well, that's what I've put here. But her opt-in page was about, do you want to reconnect to your body? Now that was a little bit es esoteric, so I wanted to get right to the heart of what was really going on. Once again, we just uh, this was already in Kajabi pipeline and I've just um, tweaked the copy um, a little bit uh, just to sort of give a little bit more, flesh out the, the opportunity there a little bit more and um, make it kind of uh, <clears throat> flow a little more too. So this is really just a PDF. They um, enter their email and they will get access to um, the PDF, which is kind of cool. Uh, where's the PDF here? So they, there's just cute download. This is really nicely done. Just, you know, go through how to do that. 
identify blood, um, et cetera. So taking them through a process still and um, giving them some of that value, but basically it's PDF download, which is awesome still. Um, so I want to drive some traffic to that. So now I will have um, uh, an ad, uh, or will I? I won't, don't have an ad yet, but I'm just going to show you how I would go about that. Um, I'll go in here and I'll be wanting to set up a new campaign uh, because this will have a different opportunity for conversion as well. So I'll also be wanting to set up that conversion element. So I'll set that up as a conversion. Actually, I know to set up that custom conversion, won't I? So I'll go to events manager because what I want Facebook to do is track um, the amount of registrations we're getting for the guide because that's going to give me a really good indication of how those ads are performing. So I'll go to custom conversions. I will uh, create my custom conversion and I'm going to need that um, URL. So I'm going to say all oh, URL traffic URL equals and it is not that. Hang on a minute. Um, where did I put that? I had that over here, didn't I? Not my notes. I normally chuck everything in there. So that was the thank you page. I'll do that. And pop that in there. And then I'm going to call that um, reconnect guide and not spell like that though. Uh, registrations. Oh, if I could type. Okay, registrations and complete registration is the category for that too. Now I could, if I want to give Facebook a broader audience, go for um, just a, a standard event of um, registrations to track complete registrations. Um, I would have to get another chunk of code and put that on the page. I'm not going to do that now because I do like it more specific, but um, you can do that if you like as well. So that's fine. That will already be set up. Uh, so now I'm going to go back into my ads manager to create my ad. Um, normally we're looking for a bit of synergy between the copy and the image that we've got on the ad too. Now I actually don't. Okay. Now I have the image and I also have the URL. So I'll grab that URL. I want to shorten that because I want to put the link in the ad copy as well. So I'm going to just go to a regular link shortener. You can go wherever you want for that. I normally just go to bit.ly and I'm just going to create that one. So I've got that there. So I don't have to put that big long URL in the copy, make it a little bit more digestible. So I can just leave that there. Um, and I am going to create my other ad. So I've got my custom conversion now. So I'm going to create a conversion based ad here. And I am going to go to reconnect to your body guide. So it's a list building campaign. I'm not going to go campaign budget optimization. I'm going to set it ad set level in case I want to go to some warmer audiences as well as cold audiences. So I'll keep the budgeting at ad set level for this one. And I am going to name it when my computer catches up with me here. Um, so this is the ad set. So this is who we're going to be targeting. So we'll just do cold uh, audiences. And then we will pick the pixel that we want. We just couldn't see it. Sometimes you can't see it when there's a few pixels in there. Okay, so I'm going to go down to my audience now and pick out some cold audiences. Now, uh, Dr. John D. Martini is someone that Lauren has featured on her summit. So uh, we might just uh, pop that in there. Oh, well, that's, and I'm doing that in the custom audience, which is a bit silly, isn't it? So I might actually just want to exclude her list, um, uh, which is do, 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 list. Okay, so I'll exclude that because we don't want, um, we're trying to list build here. So we want, um, we can add some extra countries. I'm obviously a bit partial to Australia, which is fine. And we might do Canada too. And there we go. We'll do that for now. 
And we will go with, I think we might just go 35 plus. They've been typically the kind of audience and we can go up to that, mainly women. Um, detail targeting, this is where what I was trying to do before, putting it in the custom audiences. Wasn't really paying attention there. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's one. Um, yeah, that's probably a little bit lower than what I want. If I took this off, it's going to give me an idea of like we kind of want it above uh, between 500,000 um, and a million. So it will actually show me those numbers if I take off the exclusion audience up here. Um, I could go with, but I might just kind of try here. We might even go with some Louise Hay, might go to Eckhart Tolle. That will probably start to get a little bit big, actually. So I might, I want people who are going to be open to online programs too. So maybe even, I might take these out. They feel a little general. I know she definitely has got John Martini. We might go with Gabrielle Bernstein um, in there as well. If that's going to there we go okay I think that might be a little bit bigger this should normally update it's really just deciding to be a bit of a pain in the neck so I'm going to put her audience back in X to exclude her current people on her list uh, but what I can do is do a look-alike of those people as well so I'm going to take this out this might be why it's too big as well I definitely don't want to allow Facebook to decide to show it to whoever they want because why would you bother targeting so um, yeah I'll take that off and then I will uh, just leave that and I'm also not going to allow Facebook to show it wherever I just actually want to show this one uh, on Facebook to start uh, on the news feeds only and that'll be mobile and desktop so if I wanted to do stories, if I wanted to do Instagram ads, um, typically I don't start with those to test, um, but I would need different creative. The same creative that works in a Facebook newsfeed, which is more of a post and often has more text, won't necessarily work as well in Instagram or um, story-based ads, which are more visual types of ads. So we'd need um, some other photos for that and different orientation for stories as well. So we'll start at $20 a day. And we'll go through that. So that's who we're targeting and where we're showing up on the platform. Now we need to create the creative, which is where it comes under ad level. Okay. So um, I'll just go reconnect guide here. And uh, that's a Lauren image. And we'll just do Facebook to start. So we don't need to add any of that. Now we need to add that image. Now there might be an image that is kind of suitable in her account anyway. Um, or in her page images. Um, I don't think so though. So I am going to use, uh, if you don't have any images, you, you don't have to have them all professionally done, by the way, like candid images work really, really well. She hasn't got a ton in here that aren't sort of edited and, and stuff. So here's the image that um, we had here. So something like this would be great if she hadn't already um if there wasn't already some text on there. Um, but that sort of thing could be recreated and work quite well. Um, I really want something to be that kind of pink image again, but it doesn't look like she's got one in there. So we could use this one. I've tested that before. It doesn't work as well. So um, like I was saying, if you don't have any, you can just go to stock photos, but it's better to just have one of yourself. Just go and take one on the phone if you can. Um, I obviously already set uh, just screen grab that one before. So I'll grab that one of her before now it may, may need to be cropped because it's not going to be the right kind of dimensions but we can start with that so now I'm going to want um, that actually works out fine so I'm going to want um, some of that copy that's going to talk to that landing page so in that um, it wasn't that landing page it was this one over here um, so this is probably, you know, something along these lines is fine. Uh, so, you, you know, you're going to test your copy, but you basically want to be telling them straight away what it is. If you want to sprinkle, sprinkle a couple of emojis into to stand out, that's all well and good. So I might just pe pe paste that and then I'm going to work out, okay, how can I make this look like a post um, that uh, they can interact with? I've got, okay, and uh, free guide release 
physical and emotional pain. Okay. I normally don't put a little descriptor there. We'll just put uh, the other longer. I like to use the longer link uh, in the actual ad. No one sees that, but this is where I like to just make things hard for myself. Okay, so I'll put that link there. And sometimes it's good to preview. Obviously, something doesn't want to work there. Okay, that's fine. We'll preview it, make sure it's the right URL. We never want to be sending ads to the wrong traffic source. So, okay. And then learn more is cool. You can also put, we did download with the other one. We might even just do download, make it nice and quick. That seemed to work well just for a quick uh, ad. If you want to pre-qualify more, you'd probably put some more copy in there. But you also want to look at the preview. How's it going to show up in the first three lines? Just so then we just hit confirm and we're ready to test.